In the next few minutes, you're going to learn what Alphonsus de Liguori said about conformity to God's will and how that can be used to help you fundraise even better. Hi, I'm Bree Sokolowski, the founder of CatholicFundraiser.net, a website that is completely dedicated to helping Catholics just like you with their fundraising. Whether you are with a religious uh, community, a layman in a uh, lay apostolate, if you work in a diocese or a parish or a school, wherever that may be, you are in the right place and you are joining thousands of Catholics just like you who are using the resources from CatholicFundraiser.net to help with their fundraising. So, before we dive in, I want to make sure that you download absolutely for free the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. This is ten things that I think you should do with your fundraising because it's helped me. It's what I've learned works best. Um, also, I've gotten feedback from plenty, hundreds of Catholics saying, this is really good. This has helped me move forward. So I want to make sure that you download absolutely for free the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. Okay, let's dive into St. Alphonsus de Liguori. Um, if you don't know about this saint, I highly recommend that you learn about him, and especially one document um, that he wrote, which was the Uniformity with God's Will. And if you see me pause or hear me pause, it's because I'm just looking at my notes. Um, but St. Alphonsus de Liguori, I love this guy. I think he's fantastic. I believe his feast day is the 1st of August. It's sometime in the beginning of August. Really great guy. Italian. He also is the founder of the Redemptorists. Great thinker. And I believe he is the doctor of morality in the church. I know he wrote a lot about morality and he's also the patron saint to confessors. So, um, anyways, about fundraising and how this saint wrote about uniformity of God's will and how that aligns to fundraising. So I just want to dive into three key contact uh, concepts from this document that I think are really going to help you with your fundraising and align it with your faith and help you move forward with your mission, your vocation, so that way you can do more of what you want to do and focus less on fundraising, but at the same time, it really works out. So the first thing that St. Alphonso Stolibori teaches us in this document is you have to obviously align your will with God's. And he references um, David when he says, my heart is ready, oh God, my heart is ready. Um, teach me to do thy will. So number one, and this is for every Catholic, before you do anything, you got to make sure that your will is aligned with God's. With that said, it doesn't mean that when you're fundraising that your will is not aligned with God's will. Just think of all the beautiful churches, the basilicas, the cathedrals, the chapels, the monasteries, all of this that we um, get to benefit from in today's age, all of that had to be paid for. Um, but now we have this beautiful, all these beautiful buildings where we can pray thanks to not just fundraising, but God's will. So there is a way of aligning that, and we just have to recognize that just because you're fundraising doesn't mean your will is not aligned. I know it's difficult, and it's difficult not because it's, it's not what God wants you to do. It's difficult because it's difficult. I meet a lot of Catholics who are just pulling teeth and just re feel really uncomfortable about fundraising, and they think it's not what God wants them to do. Well, at least in my experience, sometimes doing God's will puts us out in the in the discomfort zone. It's not to say that we're doing bad things, but it's just going out and doing God's will can be difficult. And sometimes fundraising can be difficult. So number one, you've got to learn how to fundraise. That's why download the free guide, visit my website regularly, learn how to do it because my form of fundraising helps you align your will to God's and gets rid of all the fundraising tactics that you feel are uncomfortable and I replace them with some good fundraising tactics that are aligned with the Catholic faith. So that's number one. Number two is you've got to make sure that you are uniform with all things. And that means your fundraising events, um, events, campaigns, everything. So don't be saddened if a campaign doesn't go your way. A lot of times we get upset that we didn't raise as much as we wanted. Well, you just got to just 
enjoy. Um, Saint Alphonsus Liguori, he's great at referencing different saints and um, different people that he knew, that he really admired. And one of the people that he references is an abbot. And he talks about um, prosperity does not lift me up, nor adversity cast me down. And what happened with this, um, this abbot, this monk, is his monastery was raided and pillaged. But um, he didn't, it didn't really phase him. He says, I'm always at peace no matter what happens. And I think this is a great, great perspective to have when you're fundraising because yes, fundraising is hard and we're not always going to be raising everything that we want all the time. So, but just be happy and just give thanks. So make sure that you are uniform with all things, whether you do raise the money or you don't. And then the third thing that I want you to focus on is you've got to keep going regardless how much you raise because this movement of just keeping going is going to inspire future donors. Um, Saint uh, Alphonsus de Liguori references Saint John of Alva. He once wrote um, to a sick, uh, sick priest, he said, My dear friend, do not worry yourself planning what you would do if you were well. What difference should it make to whether you are sick or feeling good? And it's this whole concept of, you know, and I see it quite often, it's like, well, if we only had, if we had this much money, we could do this. If we raise more money, we could do even more. Don't think like that. Think uniformity of God's will and just go with it. Don't wait for the funds to go in. I see this more often than I'd like. So just go and keep moving. Catholics are going to want to donate to you when they see what you're doing, even if you don't have any funding. Some of the great Catholic organizations that I'm helping didn't really have a whole lot in the beginning, and we learned how to just press on, and now they're doing really well. So I hope this has been helpful. These three tips with St. Alphonsus de Liguori. Please leave a comment, share this with a friend, share this with a Catholic organization that you think needs the help. God love you, and I'll speak to you next week.